Good afternoon and uh, welcome. I am Jim Olander with the Sioux Falls Stampede. For those unfamiliar, we want to uh, thank you all for coming today. Uh, media members, you know, obviously Sioux Falls Youth Hockey Association is here, members of the chamber, members of the city, uh, everyone that is here today, we uh, are very grateful for having you. This is an exciting day for Sioux Falls Stampede in the city of Sioux Falls. Uh, today we'll uh, be hearing from a variety of guests. We have uh, Tom Garrity, President and CEO of the Stampede, who will speak here shortly. We have Mayor Mike Huther. We have uh, Gary Weckworth, one of the co-owners of the uh, Sioux Falls Stampede, as well. We're all real tight here today. Tori, <laughs> Terry Torkelson from the uh, Sioux Falls uh, Arena and Denny Sanford Premier Center, and of course, head coach Kerry Eads. We'll get things started here by uh, turning it over to the President and CEO of the Stampede, Mr. Tom Garrity. Thank you very much. Uh, I was thinking to myself, only a hockey team would have a press event on ice in the middle of December. So, uh, but anyway, this is a great, great, uh, fun day. Um, when uh, I would, got involved with the club a couple years ago, um, I didn't know a lot about the USHL, didn't know a lot about the Sioux Falls Stampede, but over the last two years, uh, it's been an incredible journey. Uh, our attendance has been phenomenal. Uh, the Stampede for 15 years, this is our 15th year, but for 15 years, it's been a very proud franchise. One of the benchmark, one of the uh, premier franchises in the USHL, and our attendance over the last two years has proven that again. So with that being said, it's a very historic day. I wanted you guys to take a look down the uh, behind me at the scoreboard uh, for a, a little commercial for this wonderful announcement. All right, so you can tell we got a brand new place to play. So we're very, very excited. This is an historic day. I'm very privileged to be a part of it. I uh, wanted to start thanking a lot of different people here. First of all, our fans, our corporate partners, um, all the people that have made this possible. would love to thank the mayor and his support and his guidance. I uh, would like to thank SMG, Terry Torkelson, Joe Romano, uh, the city. Um, there's so many different people to thank. Uh, I'd also like to mention some of our ownership group that couldn't attend today. Our majority owners, Brian Schoenborn, Bob Nagley III, Arnie Abams, Mark Waterloo. Obviously, you're going to hear from Gary Weckworth here in a little bit. Um, but, you know, we're just, just could not be more excited and more privileged to be here. It's just so much fun. Actually, this has been a great venue for us. A lot of success, a lot of wins, a championship. But as we move into the Denny T. Sanford Premier Center, there's just going to be more and more victories and more and more opportunities to really grow our, grow our sport and do the, do the special things that we want to do here in Sioux Falls. I, I would be um, a bad dude if I didn't announce some of the people that really actually do all the heavy lifting here. So I wanted to thank Nate, Rico, Matt, Kent, Bethany, Brian, a couple coaches back there that I'm sure Coach can talk about, Dallas and Christian, Britta. Um, if I'm missing anybody else, I apologize. Kim, who can't be here today. But um, I just I could not be more privileged and proud to be a part of this community, excited about the future for what we're going to do. And again, thank you to all your fans. You're the reason why we're here. You're the reason why we're moving into this wonderful new building. And uh, everybody involved, players, thanks so much. And I'm going to shut up now and uh, stop thanking everybody and uh, bring up Gary Weckworth, who has been with the team for 15 years. Uh, when I started a couple years ago with the group, uh, I had known Weck for a few years, and he's been here from day one and, and is really a, the legacy of this franchise. So I'd like Gary Weckworth to come up and say a few words. Old-timer stuff. Legacies. That's old-timer talk, legacy. So thank you. Um, Sitting here watching some of the videos and uh, starting to think about that uh, we're actually going to be moving out of this place. Uh, obviously, was very excited when we were finding out that we were going to have a new event center. And, but now that you start thinking about that uh, this is going to go away, there's a lot of memories in this building. And uh, 
yeah, we want to move out, but I'm sitting here thinking maybe we should stay, you know? But no, 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 we won't do that. So, but uh, I mean, there are a lot of memories here. This is going to become hallowed ground for a lot of great players that have played here. And uh, it's, uh, it's kind of surreal because uh, when we brought the team here 15 years ago, uh, this was on the radar screen uh, back at back then. And, uh, you know, I think it was the vision of the city to have an event center like what we're going to have in the fall uh, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago that we, we thought that that was going to be reality. But, you know, good, things take time and uh, we're here. We're excited about it. It's going to be an unbelievable place to play. It's going to be an unbelievable experience for our fans. And, uh, yeah, let's get the hell out of here and get into a new place for hockey because I think it's going to be a lot of fun in there. But we'll get one more banner to hang. And we'll bring that over and hang it in the new one in the fall. So thank you all for being here. Thanks for all the support you've given us over all the years. And uh, we can't wait to, to move into the new place. So thanks again for all that you've done. It's always embarrassing to be the shorter guy, but it is what it is. All right, next we would uh, like to bring up uh, a guy who obviously played a, a large part in this uh, all happening, and that's uh, Mayor Mike Huther. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for doing this. Well, Sioux Falls, uh, first of all, I want to welcome you here, and, and I found this intriguing. Look where the folks sat uh, here at the Sioux Falls Arena when it came to this hockey event. The only good sight lines that we have in the entire arena when it comes to hockey. Well, Sioux Falls fans, hockey fans, get ready because in the new Denny Sanford Premier Center, there is not a bad sight line in the house. Uh, it is going to be an incredible experience uh, when it comes to hockey, and uh, I, I can hardly wait. Um, I, I wanted to mention just something very, very briefly in terms of uh, uh, enhancing this quality of life uh, in, in this town that we love in such an incredible way. Uh, there are private folks that work to enhance the quality of life. And uh, that's where these folks come in that are partners or owners or coaches or players uh, called, called Stampede Hockey. Uh, they take their money and their time and their talents to, to really kind of bring something to a city to really enhance that, that quality of life. And for that, we're truly, truly thankful. Then you take that public side, uh, and then you see what can they do to really enhance that quality of life as well. Well, Sioux Falls taxpayers, well, Sioux Falls voters, well, Sioux Falls citizens, you did it in the biggest way in South Dakota history by investing $117 million in a brand new event center. And then when you combine both, that private and that public partnership uh, to make incredible things happen, uh, I mean, my goodness, just, just look out, Sioux Falls. Look out, Stampede Hockey. Look out, Quality of Life, because you haven't seen anything yet. Thank you. Next, we'd like to uh, welcome the general manager of the Denny Sanford Premier Center, Mr. Terry Torkelson. Thanks. Well, I'd like to once again thank you all for being here. Um, and as a general manager for, sorry, for, sorry, short guy. Um, I'd like to, you know, this is like the, the best moment in a general manager for a new building's life to be able to announce the very first contract. Um, I'm not going to talk about any of the other ones yet because you're just going to have to wait. But this was the big one. Uh, this is the anchor to make the building successful. Um, one of the great things about the, the Stampede is 15 years in a market is, is an amazing feat for any minor league franchise. Yet to be here 15 years and to have their success continue to grow. Um, moving into the new building is only going to accentuate that. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier for us as building operators to do hockey and switch back and forth. Uh, this old building has served the city well, but uh, the new ones, like the mayor said, it's going to make it even better. And uh, having the USHL part of our community is also a, a great opportunity. Um, there's many leagues out there, but you look at the USHL, you look at the banners hanging on the wall behind you of all the players who've, who've made it to the NHL, who've come here and played in Sioux Falls, that you've actually got to see them on their way up. Uh, and all the things the, the young men who play on the team do in the community and the things the owners have done to help support youth hockey has made this uh, a better place to live. So we're really excited to have them and uh, uh, we're going to go over and have a reception afterwards. We'll invite you over to the convention center and uh, we'll talk some more about it. Thanks. Thank 
Now I'd like to uh, welcome up the head coach and uh, USHL head coach of the year last season, by the way, Mr. Kerry Eads, to say a few words about what this means to the Stampede organization as a team. Thank you, Jimmy, and thanks to the media and the dignitaries and, of course, the fans for coming to me. Pretty big event for our organization, to say the least. It was uh, a couple days ago with our staff, Christian and Dallas, went through a, a walkthrough of the building, the new event center, and uh, we just got the heart pumping, the possibilities that uh, have become reality in that building, the sight lines, the fan experience, the player experience is going to be second to none in the USHL, that's for sure. And uh, we're really excited to, to move in there. Uh, as we've mentioned, and Weck has mentioned, it's a little bit uh, sad also to leave this building with the tradition that the Stampede have displayed here through 14 and a half years. You know, just looking at those banners, not only the NHL players that have come through here, but we have two Hobie Baker Award winners, and that's emblematic of the top Division I hockey player in all the United States, kind of the hockey Heisman. And to have two former Stampede players in 14 years of an organization, it just kind of blows you away. And I was blown away by the facility, uh, walking through it the other day. We we're really excited about moving there next year and we're equally excited about finishing this one off and making this a very memorable year. So thanks everybody for coming and we look forward to seeing you at the reception. I'm just going to start bringing a step stool next time, make it less obvious. Um, with that, do, does, any, uh, does anyone have questions? We'll have some time as well for some one-on-ones, but are there any questions out there? Everyone's quiet? Okay. Um, well, a couple things. Uh, first of all, we want to invite everyone now to go over to Ballroom B uh, at the Convention Center for a reception. This is a, a celebration, so we want you to come and have some appetizers with us and uh, a chance to meet some of the Stampede players here shortly and uh, just have, have some fun. This is for our fans, for our sponsors, everybody here today that uh, you know has made this organization so successful. So this is... Uh, celebration but also a thank you to uh, everyone that is here for all that you guys have done to support us throughout these 15 seasons so want to welcome you there also you have the opportunity to take a sneak peek into uh, the new home for stampede hockey so have an opportunity there to uh, you do have to wear a hard hat and some gloves to get in but they will uh, properly dress you and you can actually get a step in and, and see what the stampede will be playing on and i believe they're uh, laying the ice laying the piping down right now the piping is going in right now for the ice, so you can uh, get a sneak peek at that as well. So uh, we encourage you to, to take a look at that and get excited about uh, Stampede Hockey here. And we have to, of course, mention that uh, if you want to get in line, season tickets is the way to do it. So we've got information on that, and we've also got uh, a few gifts for you as you walk through the door as well. So uh, with that, we want to thank everyone for coming. I, I do, before we leave, want to give a round of applause to um, the arena staff because they put this all together in 15 minutes. We just finished practice and they put this all together. So let's give the arena staff here a round of applause. Appreciate their hard work and, and everything they did. So with that, want to thank you for coming and uh, hope to see you next door here in just a few minutes. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay, thanks. Love it. Love it. That's